The swage lock push-on tool was designed and launched at the same time as the one-inch push-on hose. Historically, swage lock did not have a one-inch push-on hose due to the high force required to assemble the hose. Thus, in the design process of the one-inch PB hose, we developed the push-on tool to assemble the hose. The swage lock push-on tool can be used not only for the one-inch push-on hose, but for any of the smaller sizes of push-on hose. Now for a demonstration of the tool. Before using the tool, make sure that it's bolted or clamped to the work surface. For cutting push-on hose, the heavy-duty manual hose cutter is recommended. It's important to make a straight cut. In this example, we've already pre-cut the hose. Raise the pushing handle up until the limiting spring holds it in place. Slide the hose through the jaws of the push-on tool. The cut face of the hose should stick out of the jaws by the length of the hose barbs plus approximately one half inch. To close the jaws, turn the vise handle clockwise just until the jaws hold the hose in place. Turn the handle an additional one quarter to one half turn to secure the hose. Insert the first barb of the end connection of the hose by hand. Lower the pusher handle until the mandrel meets the end connection. Hold the hose in line with the end connection and lower the pusher handle to push the end connection into the hose until the end connection is inserted according to the specification. For push-on hose, the cut face of the hose will meet the finishing cap on smaller sizes. On the 1-inch size, the cut face of the hose will meet the divider. Finally, raise the pusher handle and open the jaws to remove the hose.